My name is Rob Altamont, VP of Marketing for Herico Golf, and I'll be your moderator for today's Herico webinar titled The Basics of Shaft Installation, Understanding the Principles of Tip Trimming Instructions. The webinar will be led by Herico's Technical Director, Jeff Summit. Jeff has worked in all facets of club making and repair since 1984 and has devoted the past 20 years to researching, testing, and analyzing thousands of different golf shafts. He has compiled his findings and research into the Dynamic Shaft Fitting Index, which is featured in his book, The Modern Guide to Club Making. This book is the club making industry's go-to textbook for modern club assembly. Additionally, he has authored the annual Dynamic Shaft Fitting Addendum, which instructs club fitters in the proper fitting and selection of shafts. <coughs> Excuse me. Both books are available for sale online at hericogolf.com or by calling 800-367-8912. Let me get a few housekeeping items out of the way first. Number one, the audio settings for today's webinar is on listen only. So do not worry about coughing or phones ringing in the background because no one can hear it. If you look at your GoToWebinar dashboard located in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, you'll see the words chat and question. If you expand this box, you'll see an empty space for you to type any questions or problems you may have throughout the webinar. Because we have limited time, we are saving the question and answer period for the end when Jeff has completed his talk. Feel free to type any questions you may have, and I'll make sure our time providing that we'll get to them at the end. If for any reason you must leave the webinar, don't worry, it is being recorded, and you will be sent an email with a link to the MP3 and slideshow of the complete webinar. With that, I'd like to turn it over to Harika Golf's technical guru, Jeff Summit. Take it away, Jeff. Thanks, Rob, and hello, everybody. Uh, let me go to the next page here. Okay. Did you ever play the game Simon Says as a kid? Well, as a refresher, it's a game for three or more participants, and most often children. One of the players is named Simon. The other players must do what Simon tells them to do uh, when asked, beginning with the phrase Simon says. For example, if Simon says, tip trim the shaft two inches, the player must trim the shaft two inches. Players that don't do what Simon says, they're out. In this case, they're out of money when they trim the shaft incorrectly. Realize shaft manufacturers and component distributors do not warrant shafts that are not properly trimmed. However, if Simon says simply tip trim an additional one inch for the bore tight without saying Simon says first, players do not add the additional tip trimming. Those that do additionally are out of money they paid for the shaft. So it's important to pay attention, especially with shafts costing upwards of $300. Now, measure twice or more and cut once is an invaluable lesson, even for the most skilled club maker. If you build enough clubs, you will eventually make some mistakes. By following this rule, you will reduce your losses. So why trim the shaft at all? Well, for starters, you have to accommodate a lot of different lengths so the manufacturers make sure that there's enough length to cover the majority of golfers. If you have a golfer that's, say, taller than the average 5 foot 10 male, the last thing you want to do is to have to add an extender. Not only would this create more time in assembly, but more money as well. In most assemblies, you will be trimming at least some from each and every shaft. By trimming different amounts from the shaft, the, the club maker controls the flex of the club. We will go into that in, in detail later on. On a final note, never, I mean, never be intimidated by the process of shaft trimming and, inst and installation. These concepts and procedures are logical once you learn how to use the shaft trimming charts. Now we have established that there is a need to trim the shaft. Next, uh, next we will look at how much and from where. Well, let's take a quick look at the anatomy of the shaft first. Let's look on the left at a few of the diagrams. A parallel tip steel shaft, you have both a parallel butt section and a parallel tip section. These vary from shaft to shaft and even amongst flexes. In between these two sections, you will have steps which control the rate of taper and the stiffness distribution of the shaft. This is what helps determine if the ball flight will be high or low. In the second diagram, 
we have a stepless steel shaft or it could be a graphite shaft. They may have these same features but are not well defined. Usually par parallel tip measurements are part of the specifications on a shaft, whereas the parallel butt section is not. The latter is what controls the grip sizing, with some shafts like the Aldola NV or the DVS actually not possessing, uh, possessing a uh, parallel butt section at all. Okay. These uh, next two terms I'm going to talk about can be quite confusing. Um, confusing. The first term is one you may have never heard discussed, and it's called unitized. It's a term to describe a, a construction type of shaft in which one shaft could be used to build an entire set of irons, and one shaft can be used to build an entire set of woods through successive tip trimming of the shaft. Unitized shafts allow the club maker to, do, to decrease their inventory of raw shafts when building a set of clubs. Another term that you might have heard is the, the word master shaft. That could also be used in lieu of unitized. Parallel tip. Now this is a term to describe one of the construction types of shafts in which the tip is made to be one constant diameter up to a certain point on the shaft. Parallel tip diameters are typically 0.335 for, and 0.350 for woods and 0.370 for irons. In steel shafts, the tip diameter remains, a, remains constant from the very tip of the shaft up to the first step. In graphite shafts, the tip diameter remains constant from the tip up to a certain point on the shaft as designed by the manufacturer, and this could vary greatly from one manufacturer or one shaft to the next. Parallel tip rifle shafts, they're not unitized. That is, the manufacturer pre-trims the shafts to a specific flex or frequency, so all you have to do is install the shafts and butt trim to length. But these actually start out as master flex. And lastly, we have taper tip. Now, this term describes um, shafts in which the tip is made to gradually increase larger in, in diameter from the tip up to a specific point on the shaft. A common tip diameter for taper tip irons is 0.355. Now, taper tip shafts will only apply to those, head, or to those heads with tapered bores. The component industry only works with parallel tip construction. So only in repairs or retrofitting will you ever have to worry about taper tip shafts. But to shed some light, Taper tip steel shafts come in various lengths. Each length is designed for a different head. The tip to first step dimension on each club is uh, proportionally shorter, almost as, as if it were pre-trimmed by the manufacturer. This saves on one additional step in the assembly process, which is tip trimming. Now the negative aspect of taper tip shafts is that the club maker has to carry a, a much greater amount of inventory. Thus, taper tip shafts are, are more for mass-produced OEM clubs. Okay. Where do you trim the shaft from? Well, let's look at the, uh, the top uh, diagram first. Well, let me, uh, okay, there it goes. Um, in a unitized or a master shaft, you're only going to be using so much of the shaft. The shorter the club, the less shaft you will be using. Oftentimes on an iron shaft, it is designed for a one iron, a two iron, or even a three iron now, as that is often the lowest lofted iron. Whatever iron it's designed for starts out with no tip trimming, and then everything comes off the butt end. For each club afterwards, a proportional amount comes fr off from the tip to compensate for the heavier heads. Iron heads typically increase in seven gram increments from one club to the next. 